What's going on YouTube? It's your friend Jazz and let's go to the beach. Beach? It is summertime. I hope you are all having a great time. I hope you're all on some kind of vacation or at least planning one or if you just came back from one, I'm sorry you're not still on vacation. But the weather's been beautiful lately. I like being outside in this kind of weather. As you guys know, I grew up near the beach so this is my jam right now. Your girl doesn't like being hot and sweaty but she does like going outside for a few minutes just to catch some sun rays and then come back inside and put Crunchyroll back on and watch some more anime. I know a few of you guys wanted me to do a tutorial on my sunset summer eyeshadow look that I had in a few videos back. So if you want to see me go from this to this. Hmm. Ah, hello. What? Me? This chick? right here. This who you talking about? <laughs> or what? Then keep on watching. I already have my base and my brows done, but I don't have blush, lipstick, or obviously any eyeshadow on, so we're just gonna roll on through and get it done. All you guys are gonna need are some brushes, some blush, some lipstick, an eyeshadow palette, or some eyeshadows that have yellow, orange, and red, and a dream. <laughs> Today I am gonna be using the Cute AF Yes Please palette from ColourPop. I got this in my Ulta Sephora beauty haul back in May. You guys can check that video out. I will link that down below. But this palette is $15, okay? And I had a $10 coupon, so your girl got this for $5. That's right. And today, this is the only palette I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be dipping into a few of the different shades. So let's get crack a lacking on our base shade. The shade names are reversed on the back of this, which I hate. Like for example, this says bling, but obviously this is not bling. This one is bling. So I will do my best, you guys, to tell you the right colors that we're using. First, let me get my hair out of my face. Let me scoot you guys in a little bit closer to this sunset. Oh, that is, that is close. I feel so close to you right now cause you zoomed in. All right, you guys, so first I am gonna be diving in here with full zip. I'm just doing a few little taps and I'm gonna get that all over my lid. Just again, you guys know I've talked about this before. I like to have a nice base powder down. This is very skin tone matchy for me, so it's a nice new to put down. If this is not your match, then go ahead and put down whatever you guys want that's gonna be a nude. It just kinda helps set the powders down and helps the rest of them blend in a lot more nicely. So that is what I'm doing here. How you doing? Why did I get a certification in makeup? I can't even hold a brush. Now that my base is laid down, I'm gonna go into this color right here called Champs, just a couple of dips. This is gonna be my transit. This is gonna be my transition shade above my crease. So I'm just gonna start laying this down right up here. You guys can see that's where my crease is, where that line is. I always say if you look down, you can see exactly. Stick your brush in, boom, that's your crease right there. So I'm going right above the crease, little peach action above the crease. There is a lot of fallout with this palette, you guys, but you know, for 15 bucks and for the color payoff that you get, I think it's worth it. This is not sponsored by ColourPop, by the way. I mean, ColourPop, give me a call. I also like to drag my transition shade down to where I'm gonna be laying my other shades. I don't know, I feel like I just like creating a map. Some people do, some people don't. I like to map out where I'm gonna be placing all my other shadows. So I take my transition shade and I say, oh, yeah, that looks, that looks about right. That's where I'm going. So that is what I'm doing with this. And I'm just using my little fluffy brush here from Real Techniques. What is this? It's the Essential Crease Brush. You know what, you guys? This is my Essential Crease Brush. This is the brush I pretty much use for, I have two of these and I always use these to get stuff laid down for my transitions and for my creases. I love these brushes. Now that I'm feeling pretty good about the transition shade I laid down, I think it looks fairly even. No, it does not, Jess. You need a little bit more over here. We are now gonna go into our crease color, which is called Big Cocktails. And that is this orange color right here. I'm gonna take a few dips. I want the orange to really show. You guys can see it's picking up on that brush and I am just going to start putting that into my creases. And again, you guys can see where the crease is, kind of where my, ooh, ooh, <laughs> my eyelid hoods up. So that's where I want to concentrate all of this orange color while blending it nicely in to our transition shade. And I just use a lot of swirls <laughs> and windshield wiper motions. I don't know why, I think everybody kind of has their own way of doing this that makes them comfortable. This is just a way that makes me feel as though I am blending everything out. I mean, come on guys, look at that pigmentation. That's amazing. Come on, ColourPop. $15 palette, what? Urban Decay, who? I'm not gonna wing it out too much today either, you guys. I'm gonna keep it fairly rounded towards the outside. So that's why I'm doing this kind of swirling motion to get all of this nice and blended here without kind of doing a dragging motion. 
And I think we are blending in together pretty nicely. What are some of your favorite summer songs? I'm just curious. For me, the songs I love for summer have really nothing to do about summer. <laughs> I mean, I know there's a lot of songs about summertime. Summer Lovin', Summer in the City, When I Met You in the Summer, Calvin Harris, you know? They all exist, but for me, it's all about thinking about the songs that I would listen to on the beach with my friends or down at the boardwalk. It's a lot of dance. It was like a lot of KTUZ 100 kind of stuff. You guys know what I mean? Justin Timberlake. Oh, yes. Like, Sexy Bag to me is one of the quintessential summer songs. I don't know why, you guys, but I grew up listening to everything, so I love all types of music. For me, summertime is like an emotion, and the emotions I feel through that type of music make me wanna go to the beach and go outside and, you know, go to a fun tiki bar with my friends. So that is what I consider to be summertime music. What do you guys like? Let me know down below. I wanna keep it pretty easy breezy, you guys. We're only gonna go in with two more colors. Lies, there's three more colors at least. Jessica. Don't lie to these people. Now that our crease is done, I'm gonna go into the outer corners here with the color Spoiled. Ooh, cool. It's this kind of deeper red color. Again, we're keeping the theme of a sunset, you guys. So we're going oranges, reds, yellows. Use what you got. It doesn't need to be this palette. Make it up, get creative. You can do this type of look with literally any colors you want. Any kind of transition kind of colors. You can go from purple to pink. You can go from blue to green to yellow. Whatever you want, go for it. If you guys do decide to follow this along, I would love to see your pictures. Send them to me on my Instagram. Send me a Snapchat of you doing it. I would absolutely die to see that stuff. Not literally die, so don't worry. I won't, I won't expire, but I would love to see it. So make sure that you guys send me that stuff. Thanks. <laughs> so let us go in with Spoiled. I'm just gonna take, this is another fluffy brush, but it's a little bit flatter so that I can really kind of focus and pack on the outside. So I am going to take some of this right here and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start packing it. Look at that. A boom. I also don't understand, I know James Charles is one of them, the makeup artist who can do one whole entire eye and then go back and do the other one. I do not have that kind of brain. I don't know. I have to do them both one by one at the same time, same color. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's the step I follow to make sure that this eye looks just as similar as this eye. I don't know. How do you guys do it? Do you do one eye complete at a time? Do you do kind of the way I do it? Do you have a completely different method? I would love to hear about that too. I'm always trying to learn new and interesting things and anything that can make applying makeup better, easier, more fun. How could it get more fun? Hello. Makeup is super fun. So I'm really focusing this on like the outer third. I'm trying to keep these two thirds open for the bright yellow that's going to come in. I don't want the darker colors to muddle it up too much. And I'm still just patting. I'm not exactly blending that just yet, but I will. It's coming. You guys know your girl likes to blend. So blend, 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 blend. It's coming. Before I do blend, I am going to add a little bit of a darker shade just to the outer V here, just to give a little bit of depth to the outside of my eyelid. <laughs> So I'm gonna dive in. Ooh, do we want French curves? Oh no, that's dark. Well, my brush already touched it, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm only going in with one soft dip and I'm tapping because I don't want a crazy amount. I really just want to try to focus it right here. Can you guys even see anything happening? Yes, you can. So I'm just gonna dab that and just kind of try to create a tiny little V shape right here. And again, that brings a little bit of pop and depth to the outer corner of your eye. So that is why makeup artists do that. Now that I have both Spoiled and French Kiss laid down, I'm just going to take a clean fluffy brush and fluff the two of them together and round them out in this outer corner. I wanna try to mix them together a little bit, but still keep them their own individual things at the same time time. You guys, it's makeup. It's not that serious. If it doesn't look perfect, if it doesn't look great, you can always put glitter on it. Smoke a smoke a smoke out your corners. She said, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mama. I'm sorry. And you know me. Turn the old two and two and all three up. God's plan. God's plan. I'm feeling summery. <laughs> hopefully you guys can tell the difference with why I use the darker colors all the way towards the outer corners. If not, then hopefully it makes a difference in the grand scheme of the face. <laughs> Let's find out and keep on going. Here comes some fun, do do do. Here comes some fun and I say it's yellow time. Do 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 do. All right, you guys, we're going in next with mischief. I'm using a very thick, packing brush. This is from Morphe. Again, I don't know what name or number it is. It doesn't matter. Get yourself a thick brush because you want to lay down this yellow 
like you are trying to paint a house and you don't want it to go anywhere for 25 years, okay? All right, so let's lay this down. I love how this color looks, you guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> so again, I'm not gonna go in in sweeping motions with this because I really want the color to pack a punch. I am going to dab it on my eyes. So let's go ahead and do it and see what you guys think. Ready, steady. Ah, oh, look at that. It even covers up some of that red color. That's how pigmented this is. Color pop on the eyelid is easy. Let's go in for some more. For the other eye, I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. The mother boys don't know how to act. Yeah. You think you're special, what's behind your back? Yeah. So turn around and I'll pick up the slack. Talk to my girl. Dirty babe. Uh-huh. You see these shackles, baby, I'm your slave. Uh-huh. Just let me whip you while I misbehave. Uh-uh. Actually, Justin Timberlake can do that. That's fine. Now that I have laid down mischief, you guys, I'm going to go back in with the same fluffy brush that we used to uh, buff out the outer corners, and I'm going to drag that over the yellow just a touch to get those nice and blended together as well. You guys don't blend your makeup. I don't know if we can be friends anymore. It's been nice, it's been real, but your girl can't take it. Yes, <laughs> yes. You guys know I'm gonna be going in with some gold, but not just yet. Let's focus on our lower lash line now. We're going in with the same colors that we used on the tops of our lids. This should be pretty easy. First, let me get a smaller brush because we ain't trying to kill ourselves today. Mm -mm. Gonna be using my Bodygraph Pro flat shader brush for this, probably for the whole shebang. First, I'm gonna go back in with Mischief, the yellow color. I'm just gonna dab, dab, dab. And I kind of want that right in the center underneath my eye and I'm gonna drag that towards the inner corner. So I wanna start in the center, drag towards the inner, so this way we can blend everything else nicely. And of course, because we're using the same brush, we're gonna start lightest to darkest because art, I don't know, Google it. So again, you guys just start right here. I need a mirror, that's what your girl needs, and drag it in. And I'm pulling it down pretty low. I hope you guys can see, it's like pretty much down to here giving myself like an eighth of an inch of bright smoke. Because this is like a bright smoky look, I know it doesn't really make sense, but it's not like dark and smoky, it's a lot brighter. You can definitely afford to go a little bit lower, even if you have some dark bags under your eyes, like your girl here, and it won't affect the entire look. It won't make you look like a raccoon. So now's your time. If you guys wanna start dragging some eyeshadow down, do it now. <laughs> do the same thing on the other side. Do the same thing on the other side. And you know what? Whatever. Let's connect it a little bit to what we have on the lid to create some simpatico. Mm. Now that we have mischief laid down, you guys, next up we are going to go in with big cocktails. I love how bright and orange that is. I'm going to try to drag that all the way out towards the outer corner and then we'll deepen that up just a little bit with spoiled. So again, guys, we're focusing this on the outer corner. You can already see how nice and bright orange that is. And I'm dragging that to meet in the middle with mischief so that they create a nice, clean, blended line. Meet in the middle, you gotta, gotta meet in the middle. You gotta compromise, analyze, you need to see eye to eye. That's a great song. Have you guys ever heard the Timbaland Shock Value 2 CD? Which, by the way, is the CD I bought to listen to Sexy back. I did not get Justin's CD, so sorry, Justin. But Timbaland has so many great songs on that album. My God, go give it a listen. If you guys haven't heard it, so good. The middle is great. Uh, you've got Miley Cyrus on there. You've got Nelly Furtado. There are so many other artists on that album. It's insane. Ooh, do I even want to add Spoiled? Yeah, let's put Spoiled back in the party here. I'm just going to do two tiny little dips, though, because I don't want it to be too, too dark. Let's see what we think. I'm pretty sure I did this the first time around. It seems like something I would do because I'm obsessive over getting colors blended together. So it sounds like something I did. Yeah, that looks really pretty. So again, I'm putting spoiled in the outer corner with big cocktails. There we go. Yeah, that looks so cool the way that connects at the end. Oh, uh, makeup. All right, you guys, we're almost done with the eyes. Before I go in with any gold or glitter, which we, we're doing. I mean, hello, you've met me. You know glitter and gold. Gold glitter at minimum is going on this eye. You, you guys are aware. Before I get into that, I'm gonna take one more clean fluffy brush and I'm gonna blend one more time. I swear, there's a shirt that says blending is my cardio. I don't know why I don't own that or none of my friends have thought to buy that for me because that is so real. But blending is so important. You right, Jess, you right. Mm. 
All right, guys, so now we're finally diving into the gold. Yes, this color right here. Oh. Oh. I'm a survivor. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna work harder. I'm fine. You guys know when you hit your funny bone and it just ain't funny. That is what happened to me. So let's try that again. <laughs> We're gonna be diving into this color right here called butter cake, but first and foremost We are going to spray the brush down with some fix plus because we are using a metallic shade and mama doesn't want it to be too subtle. There ain't nothing subtle about a sunset. It is one of the most beautiful things you could ever see on this planet If you guys have never stayed up till sunset or sunrise who doesn't stay up till sunset you guys are all awake until it gets dark Hello, but if you guys have never stayed up long enough to watch the sunrise uh, do it for real. I'm gonna take the gold now you guys and I'm gonna pop that right into oh god on my eyelash <laughs> I'm basically gonna cover most of the yellow with the gold concentrating it towards the inner corner and dragging it Almost to the center. So that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> Hello <laughs> For the freaking pigmentation. I mean it doesn't for $15. It just does not get any better <laughs> If you guys have any other suggestions of inexpensive affordable drugstore palettes you want me to try out please cuz I am I am just tired I don't know. I, I said this in my urban decay review for their born to run palette I'm just getting gold everywhere. I feel like these more affordable brands are making makeup That is just so bomb that it's like why would you spend? you know, 50, 60, 70 to 150 more plus dollars on a palette when, hello, 15 bucks, you're getting 12 shades and they all work. I used all of these, they're fantastic. You guys can see, I mean, you're watching me do this with minimal effort. You guys know how easily frustrated I get and that is not happening. So that's, that's all I'm saying. I'm also gonna take what I have left on the brush here and push that right in the inner corner. I know it's bright. I know it's shiny, that's why we're doing it. I'm also gonna drag that just a touch into where we have mischief, the yellow right underneath our lash line there. The reason why I blend after I put on glitter is mostly just to clean up. You guys can see it's not exactly a clean line unless I'm doing a cut crease or a halo eye, like even honestly really even on a client. Like I, I don't normally put concealer on my eyes to do those looks because I find shadows that I think can pop without me having to then white out my lid. But anyway, when you do that, things get a little bit messy. So I I just need to go in and kind of clean it up. So it's not exactly a blend, more of a cleanup. I just want to flick away what I don't want. So nothing really above my lid. And then to fix it, I will take my blending brush from before where we dipped into our transition shade and our crease shade, which was Big Cocktails and Champs. And I'm gonna go back in with Big Cocktails, the lighter color and blend that right above where I just flicked to get everything back nice and blended pretty and it's just gonna be a quick blend 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 I'm not gonna spend forever on that literally that's all she's doing I am NOT going to be adding a top liner if you guys want to you are more than welcome to do whatever you like again it's makeup do what you want do what you think looks good but for me I think I told you guys I haven't been doing too much top liner lately I don't know why I just feel like I like how my eyelashes look directly against kind of the bright gold colors I've been wearing a lot lately with just some sweet like black but you'll see you'll see what I'm saying I don't know if you guys will agree or disagree but that is for you to decide. But I am going to put some in my un, in my inner waterline. This is Midnight Cowboy Urban Decay 24-7 liner. You guys know how much I love this stuff. Again, hashtag not spawn, but hashtag should be. And I'm just gonna drag that right under there. And you guys can see how much of a nice bright pop that gives you. Oh yes. Yeah, you guys can definitely see a difference. This eye certainly looks more open, especially towards the outer corner, just by applying a lighter shade liner into your inner waterline. You could go with like a nude liner, you can go with a gold or a silver, really anything that your heart desires. I just like kind of how nude and opalescent this particular color is, and I think it matches the look nicely, and that's why I'm using it. <laughs> no other particular reason. All right, you guys, before I put on my mascara, I am gonna put some blush on. This is the e.l.f. palette I'm always talking about that I'm using. I know she's gross. She's beat up. She's been used. 
and I love her. When it comes to cream blushes like this, you guys, you can use your finger if you want to apply. I like doing that because I feel like I can actually concentrate exactly where on my cheeks where I want it. Sometimes I will go in with a stipple brush kind of like this to buff it out. And I have noticed that that does tend to take my blush down, which makes me look like <laughs> not a look I'm going for. So, ooh, what do we want? I think, boom, I think for sure this color right here. This is the one I'm always using. This is the one that reminds me the most of California from Benefit. I love that blush. So I'm just gonna take this, rub it on my fingers right here. Smile like a creepy doll to get the apples of my cheeks up. And then dab, dab, dab where I want it. I know a lot of people will tell you don't smile when you're applying your blush because it's gonna all drag down at the end. That's true. If you smile and then you put blush where you think it's supposed to be, it's actually gonna be down here. So when I do it, I concentrate on the tops and I drag it out and up, out and up. I look insane, that's fine. It's gonna look hot. Oh, oh, it's just a little blush, blush. It turns more pink every time I touch. I feel like I definitely want to add a little bit of bronzer to give myself some kind of color. So let's do that next. I'm just going to take this angled Morphe brush right here and I'm going into the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I think I've told you guys before, I'm not a fan of Too Faced. I just happen to have gotten this bronzer once and I'm still using it. It does smell fantastic. Oh, literally it has cocoa powder in it. I mean, I'm going to marry together my blush and my contour a little bit and add just a little bit of depth of color around kind of where one would normally contour. I did put a little bit on, but need a little bit more. I like to hug that, so I will use the brush angled like this to hug that into the blush. Ooh, hug a hug. Who doesn't love a hug? And because I want to get rid of all this, I'm just gonna... And then just dust a little bit up in my scalp here. All up in the hairline. And you guys do not be scared to get makeup in your hair because you want her to be blended into the hairline. I don't care how crazy I look right now. I'll be able to fix my hair later. Yes, I will. Ooh, she's feeling bronze. She's feeling colorful. I'm feeling not dead looking. Yes. And for highlight today, you guys, I'm actually gonna use an eyeshadow. This is from The Balm. This is called The Balm Voyage Kua Karashiba Shadow Slash Illuminizer. So why not use it as a luminizer? I'm just gonna use my fluffy eyeshadow brush that I always use to lay down my base because I can't find my highlight brush. <laughs> and just take a few dips into that and, oh, 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 what? I have never used this before as a highlight. I don't know if I am regretting this or living for it. What? Well, I, th I think we know the answer to the oh my, oh my God, it looks wet. What? Wet, what? What, what? This stuff is great. Come through the bomb. Ooh, is it just me? Is it not showing up on the viewfinder? I mean, my God. Now when it comes to highlighting, which I'm already almost done with now, my cheekbones at least, you want to keep it to the top of your cheekbone. So that is what I am attempting to do. And if you can't see your cheekbones, just kind of feel around for them. There, there it is, right under your orbital socket. Orbital socket. Ah, whatever, let's highlight our whole face up. Let's take whatever we have left on the brush and do that right above the brow bone. You know what? I'm going in with a pencil brush, you guys, and I'm going to put this also right underneath the arch of my eyebrow to really, to really make that pop. Oh, God. Pop-alicious. Hello. Let's, let's blend that a little because that is... Scary bright. No, just don't be scared of the highlight. Don't be scared of the light. Caroline. And I mean, come on, we're, our, look, we're already doing this. Let's just get our nose in this action as well. My whole face is glowing. Oh, I love it. Should we save mascara for last and do lips next? Or should we do mascara next and do lips last? Let's do lips next. Why not? So of course, I'm going in with a Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mini Liquid Lip Color. This is in the color Watermelon Soda. It is one of my favorites. I have been wearing this like all summer long. Whenever I apply liquid lipstick, it takes literally all of my concentration. So you guys will have to excuse me for not talking for just a minute here. Even though I did wipe my lips off and I scrubbed them, I am kind of just re-patting some foundation around to get rid of my actual lip lines so I can create my own lip line. Now I'm sure you guys are wondering, but Jess, why aren't you using a lip liner? Cause I don't feel like it. <laughs> I have many, I own several. I really don't ever use them and I should. I should use them more. They, they are very helpful, but your girl's just too lazy for that today. Yeah, I mean, hello, look at this color. 
thank you. And I am overdrawing just a bit. I look ridiculous. And I am overdrawing just a little bit because you guys know how mama feels about her little lips. I'm gonna do something I probably shouldn't because these two people hate each other, but I am going to put some of my Kat Von D Alchemy palette on top of my Jeffree Star lip. It just creates a whole nother kind of crazy dimension to it. So just follow along and trust and believe that it's gonna be interesting. For this, I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm just going to dive into the pink oval, pink oval. I'm gonna dive into the pink opal shade right down here. I'm just gonna take a little bit onto my index finger. Wow, this stuff, by the way, you guys, is insane. If you've never used this before, go to Sephora, go to Ulta, try this out. It is insane. You could put this on top of so many things, eyeshadow, lipstick. You can use it as its own highlight if you want to, whatever. It's amazing. Check this out. So a little bit of this on the lip. Uh, 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 uh. What? <laughs> I'm trying to keep it more towards the center to make my lips look more pouty. So now that I've got that pretty much where I want it, I'm gonna do this until I'm happy with how it looks. That didn't take long at all. <laughs> the time has come for mascara. I couldn't decide if I wanted to use the Benefit Bad Gal Bang or the Benefit Roller Lash. Do we want more natural looking eyelashes today? I don't think so. Let's go for the Bad Gal Bang. How crazy does this look to you guys? <laughs> like I'm about to stab myself in the eye, oh my god. I feel like when I watch tutorials of people doing makeup, I'm always looking at their facial expressions. You know, we have a lot of things like the alien face, the oh no face. I have a lot of weird faces I make when I'm doing makeup. For mascara, when I do the top, I like to look up in my mirror so that this way my lashes are not touching my eyelid. You guys see what I'm saying? Hold on, and look at this, hello. Do you guys see? Just look at the difference between this and this. Bad girl bang, hello, what up? Common benefit, you guys had Jeffree Star as the face of Roller Lash. You can put your friend Jess as the face of bad gal bang, hello. Has somebody older in the beauty community represent you benefit? Oh, I blinked too hard. Did I get it on me? Did I get it on me? No, at a girl. And I'm just gonna do a nice coat with this. And again, I'm sure, oh, right in the blonde hair, really? I'm sure you guys have applied mascara before, but I will give you my method. I like to start at the root and then wiggle my way up to so make sure that everything is coated. And I blink my way through a lot too. It depends on how close I haven't gotten to the lash line, whether or not I will do the wiggle technique. I feel like here we are good to go. To do the under now, this is when my face gets weird. I do something called the oh no face where I'm like, to keep my lower lashes off my face. Makes sense. And then I'm just gonna fan out the ones that are right here on the outer corner. I love how spidery this makes your lashes look. This is not a natural look, no mascara. Hello, bam, boom. Let's do the other. Makeup casualties. Jessica. Also, do you guys have a problem eye when you're doing your makeup? For me, it is my left eye. This eye is the one that always waters. My eyelashes grow in all wonky. Even my eyebrow on this side is like wackadoodle. So I don't know what the tea is for my left side of my face, but it makes me unique and beautiful and I don't care. I'm gonna rock with it and try my best. <laughs> yeah, you guys can see all my eyelashes in this outer corner kind of face down. So that makes it a lot harder to work with. I'm gonna start in the middle and try to get some of those coated and pull them up. There we go, that's how I'm doing that. And then right here in the center, I have lashes that go all sorts of, can you guys see? How like wacky that is. I don't know what's up with that. If any of you guys are doctors or hairologists or know anything about growth of body hair, let me know. I will also recommend to you guys, if you guys have straighter lashes or lashes that even point downwards a little bit, I would definitely curl them before applying any mascara. And then sometimes even after, I mean, why not? It'll kind of help keep it in place in my opinion. I'm like literally sticking my tongue out, trying to do this right now. I'm like. I feel so stupid, but it's taken a lot in all of my concentration, you guys. So just, just enjoy it. Enjoy my crazy makeup faces. I'll bet this is why all the beauty gurus do their like eyebrows and stuff off camera because of all the funky faces they make. Yeah, this one is kind of chunking out on me a little, so I am going to go in with the spoolie and try to fix that right now. And then I blink too hard and then I get mascara all over my under eye. Jessica! Uh... Well, now will be a good time to tell you guys if and when that happens, you have mascara touch you on the face. Don't touch it right away. Let it dry. Let it dry. Let it dry. I'm gonna tell you why. Because it wipes off much easier when you can just flake it off instead of trying to rub it in right now. And then you've got just black mascara chunks rubbed into your skin. Not a good look, you guys. Not a good look. Dry so I can wipe you away. Gotta see if there's anything else that I feel needs to be added. Do we need more blush? What do you guys 
think. I don't know. I think it's time to set this mug. So that is exactly what we are going to do. So I've got my Urban Decay Up All Nighter setting spray, of course. Oh yeah, I'm one of these people because I sweat. Plus this stuff smells amazing. <laughs> and then I am also gonna take my beauty blender, you guys, and bounce that into my skin just to kind of keep it all nice and set, especially in these here areas where your girl always has her makeup coming off. Like here and here, cause she's always eating so much food. And up in here, cause she's always sweating her butt off. You know what I'm saying. And down here to hide my chin and my beard hair. Boom, I think we we did it you guys what do you think there you guys have it I hope that you found this easy to follow and understand and again I would really really love to see you guys try to pull these looks off as well so make sure that you send them to me you can DM me on Instagram I don't care you can send me a video of you doing it on snapchat that would be super fun any way you want to show me I will take email me pictures whatever I want to see you guys and I want to see you guys getting your makeup on girl get your makeup on I'll sing you lots of songs just keep on watching my YouTube. Now your summer look is done. It's time to have some fun. I'm gonna put this on YouTube. Oh, but first I gotta edit somehow. Anyway, you guys, I hope you had a great time with me again today. I know this is a little bit different from what I usually do. Doing just a tutorial is not something I normally go for. So let me know what you guys think. Do you want to see more stuff like this in the future? Do you feel like this looked out the way you wanted it to, the way that it looked? looked in my previous videos. I might have done something different. I don't remember. I don't know. I know I put product listing now in all of my videos, but I might not have at that point. Anyway, like I said, let me know what you guys think. And don't worry, the hair dyeing is coming. Mama missed her appointment to get her roots done. So once that's done and this mop is taken care of at a place where people know what they're doing, then somebody who doesn't know what they're doing is going to go ahead and dye this coral. It is happening. Already bought the dye. It's here. I will put that up on Instagram so you guys can see. Or Snapchat. I don't know. Whatever. Either way, you guys, I will see all of you beautiful people in the next video. Bye!